Bye, kids! <laughs> so we are getting on the road and it is finally time to start heading east. Yay! Alright, back on this bumpy road. We decided to leave. That was the plan anyways, but some of us had thought to stay an extra day. But we don't travel as fast as others, so we decided to go ahead and leave now and make our way to Tucson. We're not going to make it today. I think we're going to Gila Bend, but we have a halfway stopping point in Dateland. So yeah, we just have to stop and get some gas. They have the people out in the fields working. There's the big white bus with the porta potties built on the back. Think you're getting out of here without saying goodbye? Are you leaving now? Yes. And you think you're saying goodbye? Well, you, we you were just trying to get out. We we no, we. No, I, no, I know out. you're blocking us in. Yeah, step out. <laughs> okay. I need a hug. All right, hold on a second. We're gonna play that game. <laughs> so uh, where are y'all going to? We're gonna head up to you. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're heading up to Aaron. in my head know me call me I will be restless so how they chose me <laughs> this is my night life be alright it is time to get on the road I believe Let me... are y'all ready? Roger. Turn left onto the I-8 East Alright, we're getting ready to get on I-8 East. And we have 65 miles to go. Onward bound. It's been a while. 
and to try some of my aunt's lumpia and pansat. Mm, yummy, yummy. We have about 50 miles to go before we reach our first stopping point, which is Dateland. Such a beautiful area right here. Wow, that's dangerous. Riding your bicycle on the interstate. That's the second time I've seen that here in Arizona. I guess it's legal here. Because I know most states that I've been through, it's illegal to ride any kind of, or even walk on the interstate. All right, we have a 6% downgrade coming. I'll turn my cruise control off because it's 45 through here. Dome Valley exit one mile. I right, better slow it down. Oh wow, it's really pretty through here. I believe I've been this way, coming the other direction one time before, but it was during the night, so I didn't see too much. I love travel days. It's always fun to travel. Oh wow, there's a lot of green going on out in that opening there. Farmland. Oh, this is really pretty through here. Dome Valley. Yeah, I definitely can't wait to get to Texas. And this is a good time of year to go because it's February and it's not too hot like it is in the summertime. The last time I went it was ridiculously hot, over 100 degrees. This time of year it's pretty moderate. So we don't run across um, bad weather or any snow, but we're not up north, so I doubt we will. We're staying on 8 until we hit 10, and then 10 into San Antonio, so it shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. Welton, 7 miles, Gila Bend, 93, Tucson, 2, what was it, 17 I think, something like that. Well, it's pretty flat out here besides the mountain ranges in the distance, but I don't think we go through those. It's really pretty. Ligorta Wash, Ligorta, Ligorta, something like that. did want to get on the road and they still do want to travel but it's just not the right time for them they still have a lot of bills that's what I did I paid all my bills before getting on the road and then saved money so that's kind of their plan but yeah right now they just have um, a lot of debt that they have to pay off unfortunately before they can even think about getting on the road and they have property that they still have to pay off so they had thought about selling but it would be better to pay their property off and then they could use that they could just rent their house out and or their mobile home and then rent their property so that way um, they could 
have income on the road because that would supply income because they really don't do internet stuff like I do. Yeah, he did look like he was having a problem. That was the Google car and then we thinking it was at the front end or something. Their, their oh, that was the Google car? Yeah. So anyways, yeah, they won't be getting on the road for several years because they do have a lot to pay off and that's the thing about debt is, you know, it makes it harder to get on the road if you have a lot of debt because you do not want to get on the road. Well, at least I didn't want to get on the road with all that debt. It just makes life harder because you're having to worry about paying all those bills and me, when I got on the road, I didn't want the stress of bills. I want to be debt free, and that's what I did. And then I saved money after I paid all my bills off. Right, Mumu? You're like, I don't know. I wasn't with you then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy booger. I do like driving. It's just so... Sometimes it's just the views. Plus it's relaxing too. To just drive. And you know, I usually never drive over a hundred miles unless I'm really, really trying to get somewhere. Need to slow down a bit. 165, but usually I like to go around 60. Avenue 52E is 12 miles. Next rest area is 13 miles away. And Tucson is 198 miles. The last time I was on 8 was actually my first year of travel. is when I was headed to California and going the opposite direction. And it was so hot that year because I was coming through Arizona in the summertime and the temps got up to 115 degrees. Yeah, that was not a fun time, but I did love the California coast. That was amazing, the Pacific Coast Highway. So if I can find the video of when I was coming across 8, I'll definitely put the link in the top corner so you can check that out if you'd like. Yeah, I had some overheating issues too, but I made it to California. I traveled mainly at night, so I didn't get to see all this the last time. We are 23 miles away from our pit stop. We're passing exit 54, which is Mohawk Valley. I'm glad I've been able to come through this area during the daytime. It is really pretty. We have about 12 miles to our destination, so not too far. And there's also a rest area coming up in about a half a mile. But since we're close to our destination, I will be stopping here for our pit stop. Oh, I guess we are. Roger. So I guess we're going to make a quick pit stop here. But we are only 12 miles from our other pit stop. Not sure if we'll go there since we're stopping here. I guess we'll find out. Oh, they even have a handicapped for RV parking. Cool. You looking out the window, Moo Moo? Hmm? Huh? I just gave her some water. Can you go outside, go pee pee? Okay. <laughs> Look at your big brown eyes. Big brown eyes. Who's got the big brown eyes? You do. <laughs> Alright, Moo Moo.
Go time, go pee pee. Go, go, go. All right, go pee pee. Sniff around, go pee pee. I'm watching you. Hey, lady. Okay. What's our next destination? Uh, Dateland, which is 12 miles up the road. <laughs> Hold on, Mumu still got to pee. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> She's like, nope, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, time to get back on the road. Like I said, it's only 12 miles up the road, so not too bad. We should be there shortly. If I'm not mistaken, I think there's um, some kind of gift shop in Dateland. They have date shakes, I think. It's been so long ago, I can't remember. But I believe that's the case. It's either a gift shop or it's one of those restaurants with a gift shop built in. Back on I-8, he heading east. Yay, east. 75 mile an hour speed limit. That's so fast. And I was going 60 and somebody flew by me like I was standing still. Kind of like that, but faster than that. All right, Dateland, 11 miles. Phoenix, 123. And Tucson, 184. Although Phoenix is um, on 10 up north. We will not be going that way. Oh wow, 166. Need to slow down. People still passing me. <laughs> so there are two railroad tracks there, and it's kind of weird. They, I guess, they use the secondary track for storage. It's a long train that's just sitting there. Yeah, on the other side of this track, there's another one. I guess that's the one they use. And, oh, China Shipping. Costco. China Shipping. Evergreen. So I'm not sure if those containers are empty or, or not. I see um, the train that they're on has been tagged several times with graffiti. Okay, it does have an engine car on it, so maybe they're just stopped there for a moment. There's an engine on it. Actually, there's one, two, three. Alright, here's our exit. Exit. Thank you. So this is X67, Dateland, off of I-8 East. Oh yeah, it is the same place. And, um, there's the travel center, the Dateland Travel Center. They have dates, I think they have date shakes in here. I parked across the street last time. And I believe I did come through this time uh, during the day through here. Feet, you will arrive at your destination. And it's not till I hit um, the Phoenix area that it was way too hot. I did some traveling at night, so. <clears throat> Right, well, we're here. There's a water spigot here if y'all need water. I am gonna check it out. Did you already hit the button? No, 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 no. I know because the last time I was here. It was, worked? I, think I so. did fill up, but. Okay. Oh, there's a dump right here. Yeah. This is because oh, this is that. 
Yeah, that, I think the water is free, but the, the dump is not. You have to go to the Dateland RV Park, and it costs money. Look at that, so close. <laughs> so if you've ever wondered where dates come from, they come from this palm tree. And they look like big rat turds. Yeah, there's some on the ground right there. When they dry up, they do kind of look turdy. Welcome to the Dateland Travel Center. Thank you. Oh my god, look at all the dates. <laughs> Medjool. Oh yeah. Oh, those do. Those are the almond rolls. The jumbo dates. Mmm. Look, you get the little oh. um, tong. You get the little tong. I've had dates before. I know what they taste Which like. Which one is that? The dairy. Mmm, oh, that is good. Very sweet. Very sweet, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It's better than a raisin. Although it has a big seed. <laughs> in it. <laughs> okay. So we were told the honey dates are the best. Let's see. I'll get a little one. Ooh, they're sticky. Yeah. How is mm. it? Yeah. Really sweet. So the honey date is chewier. It's much better. Mm. Thank you. Happy Thank you. I think that's the creepiest backpack I've ever seen. Look at the eyes. Ooh. Look at all the cool polished rocks. Found a Dateland sticker. Arizona. Look at the geodes. You can break them open and that's what they look like on the inside. Pretty cool. So they have such pretty bracelets here. I found one that I want. It's only 16 bucks. So I got a, a Supreme Pizza and a Date Shake. And that's what it looks like. Mmm, creamy and yummy. This is actually my first time trying a Date Shake. Ooh, that's really good. It, it kind of reminds me of a chocolate shake. I don't know why, but it has kind of a chocolatey flavor. That is delicious. The shake is delicious, but it's very, very, very sweet. Really, really sweet. And it still has chunks of dates in it. Um, don't know if I like that that much, but it is tasty. And I love my bracelet. That's so cool. Love it, love it, love it. So our destination, our next destination is 49 miles, and that's going to be our stopping point for the day. It's Gila Bend. And that's about a halfway point to Tucson. So tomorrow we'll be going another 100 miles, a little over 100 miles. Um, so yeah, we're going to rest for a second or two, and then we're going to get back on the road. All right, are y'all ready? I guess that means yes. <laughs> Time to get back on the road. I feel like I'm going into a sugar coma. <laughs> There's so much sugar. It was sweet. It is tasty though, but yeah, I couldn't have a big one. I got a, I'm glad I got a small one because yeah, that'd have been way too much. And I really like sugar. <laughs> Will do. Alright, continue our journey east, back on I-8.
Thanks, Bev. So it's 47 miles to our exit, but we're going to Gilan Bend or Gila Bend. So it's two extra miles after our exit. Land for sale. to 2,200 acres. Wow. There's definitely a lot of land out here. I know there's people that say, well, why do you want to be in the desert? It's just barren. Because the temps are awesome in the winter. That's why um, people come here to Arizona because it's moderate temperature, 70 to, well, 70 at daytime, and then at night it's around 40 degrees. It's just nice. It's not super cold. I definitely wouldn't want to be here in the summer, 115 degree weather. It's like an oven. Not sure if you can see it on camera, but I can see it up ahead. Looks like the road up ahead is covered in water, like a mirror effect. I forget what causes that. But obviously there's no water on the road because when you get there it's dry, dry, dry. But yeah, it look, almost looks like a still lake up ahead. And you can even see reflections off of it. I feel like I'm in northern Arizona. The road just got crappy. This is how it is. Um, in the northern part of Arizona on I-40. It's pretty bumpy, but I think they are fixing it because it wasn't as bad the last time I was on I-40. And I should have said earlier um, South Arizona because that's where people usually come to stay for the winter because it's moderate temperatures is in South Arizona because Northern Arizona is quite cold, especially in the Flagstaff area. Agua Caliente. So this is exit 87. The road's still kind of bad. So this means this is hot water. I guess that's what they would call it. But if you read it like the words are, it's water hot. But I'm sure that means hot water. We're about 30 miles away from our destination. And it is, what time is it? A quarter after three. We're at mile marker 88. The landscape is definitely greener than I've seen before, but we've had more rain here in Arizona, so that's probably why. You see a lot of blooms as well. Although I was here a couple years ago and there was a super bloom that was happening. It was so beautiful. All the flowers that were blooming, it was awesome. And back to the um, comment that I'd seen before about why would you want to be in the desert. I remember first getting to New Mexico and Arizona, which are the drier desert climates and the, just the mountains and the rock formations are absolutely amazing. It's, it's beautiful. Each place has its own beauty. That's why when people ask me what is your favorite place, I don't really have one because there are several. Like I said, each place has its own beauty. You just have to find it. That is the largest I think it's a solar array that I have ever seen. It's huge. I think it's like over two miles long. And I don't know how far out it goes, but it just seems endless. We're passing exit 102. That's Painted Rock Road. We have 12 miles. Oops. Thump, thump, thump. Until our um, exit. 
Painted Rock and Petroglyph Sight. The wind is kind of strong today, the side winds. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That was one of the largest solar arrays I've ever seen. Yeah, they were weird looking. I'm not sure. They might not have been solar, but I couldn't imagine anything else being that big. I don't think that they were in the same direction. Mm, I don't know. Here. So, Gilan Bend says it's 14 miles, Phoenix 76, and Tucson 137. The road has gotten much better, about five miles back. It's a freshly paved road, nice and smooth. That I was about. Okay, here's our exit, exit 115. This leads to Gila Bend. I think we just continue straight ahead. going to get back on 85. Like I said, I think this is just our stopping point for the day. It is a quarter to four. Kind of tired, actually. Driving and traveling sometimes does that to me. It zaps me. Going under I eight. Okay, so we're coming into the town now. Um, there's a loves. You all want to stop there and, and figure out where we're going from there. Roger. Organ pipe. <laughs> Oregon Pipe Cactus, that's the funny name. National Monument is 75 miles that way to the left. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, well, I'll see you when we figure out where we're going to stay. Guess we could always just stay here. There go Terry and Scott. About 25 miles east of Gila Bend is BLM. And this is in the Sonora Desert National Monument area. It, the sun is about to go down, but right up this road here is camping. So we're going to go check it out. There's Scott and Terry right there. There are signs over here. That's why I decided to stop so I could read these. It says, Travel Caution. Smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered in this area. Visitor Information Update, Active Federal Law Enforcement Patrol Area, Cleanup and Restoration Crews at Work, Contact BLM Rangers for Current Area Status. Okay, let's go ahead and get to camp. As soon as that sun drops, it starts getting cold. Brr. Alright, well, this is the road that the GPS is taking me to. There are several campers back here. 
It seems like it goes pretty far back. I see one way in the distance. Um, but this looks good right here. What about right here? There's a fire pit to the right and everything. Does this look good? Perfect. Roger. There's a fire pit and everything and a U-shaped driveway. <laughs> this is awesome. Perfect. How lucky did we get? Way lucky. This is awesome. I'm a little leany, but I don't really care about that. Well, we're gonna block out here in a minute. I actually might pull up and then um pull over a little bit so that way I'm not leaning as bad. Alright, well we're gonna get set up. How beautiful is that? This road seems to go back for several miles because I see campers way back there. But, um, I didn't want to drive all the way back there, so we luckily found something close. Oh, look at that sunset. It's really getting red over there. It's amazing. What you think, Moomoo? Got your pink sweatshirt on? It's getting kind of chilly. <laughs> As we were passing the Sonora Desert, I saw so many cactus was amazing. I, I've never seen that many cactus. There's just a few out here. It's definitely been a long travel day and I'll probably do some exploring here tomorrow and film that. But right now there is a steak in my refrigerator and it is calling my name. So I'm gonna fry up a steak and have a salad with that. I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. Mwah. Moo moo. And Mumu says bye. Bye.